Two at six brain worms have become a topic of conversation after Robert F. Kennedy Jr. said doctors found a dead worm inside his brain. WBC's Courtney Cole is live in studio to break this down for us. And Courtney, it is possible to have a worm in your brain. Yes, Paula, but let's be clear. We're not talking about a worm you might find out in the yard. We're talking about a parasite, usually caused by a pork tapeworm that someone ingests by handling undercooked pork. And Dr. David Thaler, Chief of Neurology at Tufts Medical Center, tells WBZ's Dr. Malika Marshall that worms are actually pretty common. Believe it or not, they're actually not that uncommon, but it's not wriggling around in the brain. It's a pretty common infection. It's pretty well tolerated for the most part. Um, it can definitely cause serious neurological problems in certain circumstances, um, but uh, that's the minority of people who get psychosis. And I think a lot of us listening to that were probably kind of surprised that they are considered to be common. Doctors say the most common symptom of this type of brain worm is seizures. So the best way to protect yourself is good hygiene, like washing your hands. Lisa. Wow. All right, Courtney, thank you.